हेलो स्टूडेंट्स वेलकम टू सीक्रेट हार्ट हाई स्कूल टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू स्टडी इन साइंस वन चैप्टर थर्टीन कार्बन एंड इम्पॉर्टेंट एलिमेंट कार्बन द एलिमेंट कार्बन is available abundantly in the nature and occurs in free as well as in the combined state in this chapter we'll sir we shall study the properties of the non metallic element carbon now the symbol of carbon is c atomic number is 6 atomic mass is 12 electronic configuration is to 4 hence the valency is 4 it is a non metallic element next we shall study about the occurrence of carbon the name carbon is derived from the latin word carbo meaning coal carbon is found in nature in free as well as compound state carbon in the free state is found as diamond and graphite and in the combined state in the following compounds as carbon dioxide in the form of carbonate such as calcium carbonate marble calamine that that is zinc carbonate second fossil fuel that is in the form of coal petroleum natural gas third carbonaceous nutrients like carbohydrates proteins fats and the fourth natural fibers such as cotton wool silk next we shall study some properties of carbon that is allotropic nature of carbon allotropy some elements occur in nature in more than one form the chemical properties of these different forms are the same but their physical properties are different this property of element is called allotropy like carbon sulfur and phosphorus also exhibit allotropy now we shall see allotropes of carbon the first one is crystalline forms A crystalline form has a regular and definite arrangement of atoms. They have high melting and boiling points. A crystalline form has a definite geometrical shape, sharp edges and plane surfaces. Carbon has three crystalline allotropes. The first one we shall see diamond. Diamonds are found in india mainly in golconda that is in karnataka and panna in madhya pradesh diamonds are also found in south africa brazil belgium russia and america now we shall see the structure of carb of diamond in diamond if you can if you look the structure of diamond every carbon atom is bonded to four neighboring atoms by covalent bonds therefore diamond has a tetragonal three dimensional structure which makes it very hard the properties of diamond are is of it is a brilliant and pure diamond is the hardest natural substance the density of diamond is 3.5 g per cubic centimeter the melting point of diamond is 3500 degrees celsius when diamond is heated at 800 degrees celsius in the presence of oxygen carbon dioxide is given away in this process no other product besides carbon dioxide is formed diamond does not dissolve in any solvent acids bases have no effect on diamond Diamond is a bad conductor of electricity as it does not have free electrons. 
Now we shall see different uses of diamonds. Diamonds are used in glass cutting and rock drilling machines. Diamonds are used in ornaments. Diamond knives are used in the eye surgery. Diamond dust is used for polishing other diamonds. Diamond is used to make windows giving protection from radiation in space and in artificial satellite. The second crystalline form of carbon is graphite. Graphite is found in the natural state in Russia, New Zealand, America and India. The lead used in pencil is made by mixing graphite with clay. This process was discovered by Nicholas Jack Conte in 1795. Now we shall see the structure of graphite. Every carbon atom in graphite is bonded to three other carbon atoms in such a way that a hexagonal layered structure is formed. A graphite crystal is made of many sheets or layers of carbon atoms. These layers slip over each other on applying pressure. One layer of graphite is called graphene. Different properties of graphite. Graphite found in nature is black, soft, brittle and slippery. Inside each layer of graphite, free electrons move continuously within the entire layer. layer. That is why graphite is a good conductor of electricity. Due to the layered structure, graphite can be used for writing on paper. The density of graphite is 1.9 to 2.3 gram per cubic centimeter. Graphite does not dissolve in most solvents. The different uses of graphite. Graphite is used for making lubricants. Graphite is used for making carbon electrodes. Graphite is used in pencils for writing. Graphite is used in paints and polish. Graphite is used in arc lamp which give a very bright light. The next, the third crystalline form of carbon is funerin. Funerin, an allotrope of carbon, is rarely found in nature. It is found in soot and in interstellar space. The first example of funerin is Buckminster funerin, that is C60. This allotrope of carbon is named funerin after the architect. Record Black Buckminster Fuller because the structure of C60 resembles the structure of the geodesic doom we he designed. Harold Croto, Robert Kerr, and Richard Smalley were given the Nobel Prize in Chemistry 1996 for the discovery of this carbon allotrope Fuller in that is C60. Their molecules occur in small numbers in soot. The properties of fullerene. Molecules of fullerene are found in the form of buckyballs and bucket tubes. There are 30 to 900 carbon atoms in one molecule of fullerene. Fullerenes are soluble in organic solvent such as carbon disulfide, chlorobenzene. The uses of fullerene, they are used as insulators, they are used as a catalyst in water purification, it is used at a certain temperature, fullerene exhibits superconductivity. It is also used in medicines, cosmetics also. Now next we shall see the non-crystalline or amorphous form of carbon. The arrangement of carbon atom in this form is not regular. Coal, coke are the non-crystalline forms of carbon. Coal. 
Coal is a fossil fuel. It contains carbon, hydrogen and oxygen. It also contains nitrogen, phosphorus and sulfur. It occurs in solid state. It is of four types. The first one is peat. Formation of peat is the first step in the formation of coal. It contains a high proportion of water and less than 60% of carbon. Therefore, not much heat can be obtained from peat. The next second type is lignite. Peat was transformed into lignite due to increased pressure and temperature inside the earth. It contains 60 to 70 percent of carbon. Lignite is the second step of the formation of coal. Third one is bituminous coal. Bituminous coal was formed as the third step of formation of coal. It contains about 70 to 90 percent of carbon. The fourth type is anthracite. Anthracite is known as the pure form of coal. This coal is hard and contains about 95% of carbon. The second form is charcoal. The charcoal that is made from animals is made from the bones, horns, etc. On the other hand, the charcoal made from plants is formed by combustion of wood in an insufficient supply of air. Uses of Uses of coal. Coal is used as a fuel in factories and homes. Coal is used to obtain coke, coal gas and coal tar. Coal is used in thermal power plants for generation of electricity. The third form is coke. The pure coke, coal that remains when coal gas has been taken away from coal is called coke. Uses of coke. It is used as a domestic fuel. Coke is used as a re reducing agent. Coke is used in production of water, gas and producer gas. So, hope so children, you have understood the first part of this chapter. Thank you children.